Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Thrifty Painter. Today, me and my sister are going to be painting these figurines. So my sister grabbed one that has like an older lady, maybe knitting or crocheting. I'm not really sure, but my sister has a crochet channel, so she is going to turn it definitely into crocheting. Um, but for me, um, mine is kind of strange. So it's, it's a clown with a basket and a swan. Um, you know, there's bows everywhere. It's just, it's strange. I don't know why anybody would ever want this to begin with. Maybe before I was born, there was a weird clown phase that the world was going through. Um, but I think the world's done with it. So I'm here to improve this little guy and I'm going to make it where maybe, maybe we'll be excited to have it again in the world. So that's, that's my goal. We'll see if we get there. Even if this doesn't turn out, I know that it has already hit rock bottom. It has literally nowhere to go but up. Okay, so in the beginning, I'm thinking to go with more of a Halloween kind of vibe. I want to do Chucky. You know, I'm thinking Thriller. So definitely keep watching this because while I may start out doing Chucky, there are some plot twists in here. So things I didn't think I would be doing, but halfway through... I decided, you know, screw it. I'm going to do something else. Okay, so I'm going to put on some nice calming music. If you don't like music, if you absolutely hate music and it just will not make you happy, just turn your volume down. It's going to be okay. Um, but I do encourage you to just listen to a little bit of music. Okay, so I hope you guys all enjoy the journey of this artwork.
Okay, so this is about the time when the plot twist happens. So basically, my mom walks past and she's like, that's so cute. That's Wendy, right? And I was like, Wendy, what are you talking about? And she was like, it's Wendy from the Wendy's restaurant, right? And it actually, no, it was supposed to be Chucky. But I guess it just, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't creepy. It wasn't scary. It kind of didn't even really look like Chucky. So, you know, I just decided if you can't beat him, join him. So for the most part, as I try to improve this, make it more like Wendy, I realized that I am very terrible, like terrible at like just painting the face for some reason. Like I don't want to get the eyes. I, I like the, the eyes that Precious Moments has, so I don't want to like mess it up. But at the same time, it just looks so sloppy the way I do it. So I do hope that one day I do improve in that area. I guess we'll have to see. Only only time will tell. Okay, so if you've got this far and you're like, well, what about the old lady crocheter? Um, what, what does that look like at this point? And the answer is I'm not going to tell you. Um, you're going to see it at the end. Just know that it is. it looks way more professional than mine. <laughs> like mine... I, I don't know. It's, mine is completely different. Hers still has like the essence of what it was before. So nothing major, just like more contemporary colors. Okay, I'm going to turn the music back on. I will come back when I get to the fun part. The fun part is with the polymer clay. I will be creating chapters. So you probably, you may have found this by the chapter. So chapters at the key moments of this video. You are welcome. So feel free to skip ahead, skip behind, find the parts that you want to see, live it up.
Okay, so this is where we're at right now. It's mostly finished, but I feel like it's it's just missing the final touches. Like, yes, it looks like Wendy, but I don't know. There's still a part of me that thinks that maybe this could just be Pippi Longstockings or someone else that is famous with red hair, like Carrot Top. I don't know. Okay, so I am using polymer clay. I love using this, especially when you're putting it on stuff, you want to glue it. Um, it's easy to paint. It's easy to harden. I just love this stuff. It's very versatile. And I am making chicken wing and a bag. So I just realized this after I made the figurine, after I like finished everything. I mean, does Wendy sell fried chicken. I don't know why my mind automatically went to fried chicken. It should have gone to like burger, but honestly, I don't go to Wendy's. Like I remember one time I was in college, um, somebody somehow got a hold of my credit card information and they were like, just buying stuff. And the thing that triggered me where I was like, that's, I didn't do that. It was a Wendy's purchase. So I don't, that tells you how much I go to Wendy's, but I'm very familiar with their, you know, with Wendy, which honestly, that's just like a testament to their marketing plans and their marketing strategies. Because even though I don't go there, I know who the face of Wendy's is. And that is this little figurine. Okay. So this is after I took it out of the oven. So if you've never worked with polymer clay, you typically want to bake whatever it is for about 30 minutes at 260 degrees. So that's what I did. I baked it for that long at that temperature and it hardens, it works perfectly. Then you just let it sit for a moment just to, to cool off and then you're, it's cool to handle. You can paint it and hot glue it. You can do whatever you need to. Again, I love, 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 love this stuff. If you are watching this, and you notice that I put the paint directly on the napkin. Just want to confirm that's a bad idea. The paint does seep through. So definitely don't, don't be lazy like me. Grab a plate. You need to get a plate. <laughs> don't worry about the table. I was able to get the paint off the table with a little bit of water. If you're curious about what kind of paint I use, I use the cheapest stuff I can find. Typically it's between 60 cents and a dollar. So... You know, sometimes I do splurge. I go for the dollar fifty, the metallic colors. Um, Michaels has coupons sometimes; still can get it super cheap. So that's what I use.
Okay, so it looks like we're about done. So let's do some before and after photos. So before, let's see both of them. Okay, now let's see after. So this looks nice, looks good. Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> Okay, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I plan to make more. I, I was able to get a lot of precious moments for $3 each. So I am set for life.